Don't even breathe. Oh. <sighs> Hey guys, welcome back. So time for episode number two of The Last of Us, and this one is called Infected. So last week we watched the first step, and my god, it was amazing. What an introduction to this world. We had the fans of the game who came over, and then people who haven't played the game. So I think it worked on both levels for everyone. So diving into this one, the journey started. They're on the road, so um, let's just see how it goes. And as always, guys, my Patreon is linked down below where I have exclusive content, full reactions, early access, and a whole bunch of videos I cannot show on YouTube. Linked in the description box. And as always, like and subscribe. All right, let's go. Here we go. Where is this? Jakarta. Oh, 2003. We've jumped back in time again. Uh-oh. Who are they looking for? We need you, man. We've got a mushroom outbreak. I think the explanation they gave us in the first episode as well, like, just grounded it in reality. I mean, it's not likely, but it's plausible with the whole mushroom thing. Right. She's a professor. They need her skills. So this just goes to show it's worldwide. Starting in Indonesia, we have issues here. I just love the look of this show. It's just so polished. Okay, so they're going to show her some blood samples or something with a uh, shiitake mushroom growing out of it. If you feel sick, get out. She's got some good PPE going on. Okay, naked dead lady. So we don't have spores in the series. So they kind of changed that little thing. Imagine being this actress. Just come, come like naked on a on a cold slab for a little while. We'll give you twenty bucks. So bottom left leg. Oh, it's a bite. Okay. So it's out there in the community. Somebody bit her. She died. Or oh, she's going through some kind of transformation. Oh yuck. Ah. Oh. That's really gross. Oh, she's gonna have the the grass stuff coming out of out of her mouth like the little old lady in the last step. Oh, oh she's wiggling it. <laughs> oh, what is coming out of here? It is the grass stuff. Yeah, yuck. Oh, it's moving. I'm out. Oh, that'd be just all through her, well, through her everything, right? All the way down, controlling the spinal cord, maybe getting control of the brain. This is going to spread so quick, like wildfire. Too late, sunshine. It's fungus. It's not a bacteria or a virus. Yeah. Bomb. The the whole country? Start blowing up Indonesia? Holy shit. Holy f Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's messed up. Such amazing performances, man. Holy shit. It's just so nuanced and it's really getting that emotional response out of me as well. Because it's just so well done. Alright, here we go. We'll snap back to 2023. They've left left the camp. Starting their journey. The set design is insane. Man, so good. Straight out of the game. Hi, good morning. They're not taking their eyes off of her. She bit. They don't know what the fuck is going on. Have they been watching her all night? Show us your arm. Of course you'd be nervous, right? There's this horrible disease pandemic thing. Transmissible by bites. They didn't turn into a fucking monster. 
There's that. There's a Firefly base camp somewhere out west. With doctors. They're working on a cure. Mm -hmm. Loving the acting. It's so good, man. The dynamic, the back and forth, the chemistry. If she so much as twitches. <laughs> oh, don't he will <laughs> shoot you. <clears throat> don't even joke. <laughs> Wow. I love what he's doing with his face, with, with just the expressions. Considering in The Mandalorian he's just behind a mask all the time. The guy's good at his craft. Can I have a gun? Absolutely no. not. Okay, Jesus, fine. I have to throw a fucking sandwich at them. <laughs> See, there's comedy and humor in the dialogue. Soon it'll be um, terror and fear, but let's laugh while we can. Like, the, even the sound design is incredible, like the score, but just the ambient noise below that. That is incredible. Look at this, and just everything's just grown over, dilapidated, falling apart, and there's monsters in the dark. Here we go, and this is where the journey starts. Like I said, the meat and potatoes of the game. Long way or short way? I mean... It's the long way or the we're fucking dead way. <laughs> so there aren't super infected that explode fungus spores on you? Yes, there is. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh, here we go. See that just the sound design. It's um sometimes hearing shit and not seeing it is more terrifying. Don't stray. No shit, man. This is why you got bit the first time. Ellie. Yes, sir, I would like your finest sweet, please. Shh. Yes, ma'am. Would you like me to take your luggage? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> I just saw something. I'm like, what is that? Oh, God. Don't be dumb. Don't be a dumb kid. You're smarter than this, Ellie. Don't be stupid. Don't be going ringing the bells. Fuck's sake. Where'd you learn to do that? The circus. <laughs> She's a, such a smart ass. I like her. Here she is. This is the way. This is the way. Sorry, I had to had to at least once. We're gonna cross a beam of some sh of some sort. Oh wow. Oh. They're the infected. <gasps> There's so many. So many. That's what last I said. We were here, they were still deep inside the buildings. Oh my you god. A patch of cordyceps in one place. And you can wake a dozen infected from somewhere else. Really? Really? That's fucked. Looks like it. The museum. Okay. Is that is that bad? Wait, is the museum in the game? I uh, I feel that I feel that it is. Like, the memory's there, but I don't recall everything. Look at this, man. That creepy shit growing all over the walls. Nailed it. Pull out your knife, Ellie. You're gonna need it. I'd be so... I'd be, I'd, I'd be like, no. No, no, no. And the game gives you the same emotional response, too, because you're, you're Joel or Ellie playing... In his creepy ass game and it's dark and you don't know when something's gonna jump out at you. You can hear noises. It's 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 visceral and man seeing it play out in in live action is just something else, man. I'm so glad this isn't mediocre. Is that their legs? There's legs. Oh there's Shut the fuck up, Ellie. So you don't only just have the monsters, but you also got crazy people as well who will gut you and kill you at a moment's notice. It just looks so gross and icky. Oh, fuck. The tension is palpable. Oh, it's coming out of her eye? No, no, no. Oh fuck. 
Oh, I was going to say, you could just hear the building creaking and moving. And it fell apart right behind them. That made a racket. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit, man. That sounds awesome and terrifying. Nope. Back away slowly, everyone. Oh, it's... Oh, fuck. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, there's more. Oh, fuck me, man. Holy shit, that look amazing. Yeah, they're using echolocation with the clicking. That is straight from the game. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh fuck, here we go. Molotov cocktail, I'm just saying. Don't even breathe. Oh. <sighs> oh, it is on. Oh fuck, man. Wow, they look incredible. Oh shit, why, why do people always trip in these kind of shows and movies? I think I remember this from the game as well. Nice monster. Throw a bottle. You throw a bottle in the game to make it go another way as a distraction. Where's the, where's the bottles at? There's no bottles. But it's funny, Ellie just barely made a, a, an audible gasp and it just went rawr. Is is fine tuned. It's got those fungus ears. It's coming. Oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be right there. It's gonna be right there. It's there. Oh my god. Holy shit! Look at that. I'm shitting bricks. Don't get me wrong, but I'm also appreciating <laughs> the makeup effects. Straight from the game, man. I know I keep going on about the game, but it's based on a game. There's naturally going to be that comparison, right? But it's its own thing and it's doing it really well. Just wait till there are a lot of them. This is like, what? It was like two or three? Oh, fuck. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Headshot. Here comes another one. Oh, Tess. Is it an axe? Oh my god. Oh. Oh shit. Two shots. That was so cool. Look at them. Oh, yuck. <laughs> they even got the little torches on the, on the bag straps. <laughs> Attention to detail, man. Holy shit. Yeah, this is. I, I remember this from the game. Crossing that plank to the other building. But I love Anna Torv. She's such a great actress. Fringe. Great series. How can he just so casually stroll across a plank of wood so high up? I'd be. I couldn't even do that. I'd be stuck in the museum. Love you. Wow. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> if you know, you know. Damn, episode two is bringing the goods. Like episode one was just setting everything up, but now we're 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 into it, and yeah, the suspense, the creatures, yeah. Like even being in, in broad daylight, you don't feel safe. I mean, it's not that it's dark and creepy. I mean, it's full sunshine, and we're still nervous. Okay, the cliche would have been a dead body falling out. And there's blood. There's a lot of blood in there, though. Our luck had to run out sooner or later. Fuck. She's infected. Who? What? Tess? Is? Is she? Oh, no. She got bit. Wow. I love that Ellie just knew. Oh. How long? Since the attack? In the museum? 
that's bred in quick. Like I said, I played the game, but I don't remember a lot of details, so I'm still going to be surprised by the, the show, especially if they do things differently. Please say yes, Joel. Please. Oh, fuck! Oh, my God. He's getting up. <laughs> Great performance from Anna as Tess. Tragic, though. Oh, the thing. Yuck. What? What are we seeing? Oh, the it talks to each other. Oh, shit. The booby trap. Oh, fuck. This is... This is some bullshit, man. Holy crap. Oh, no. They're all getting up. Oh, the whole lot of them that would... The crowd we saw on the street outside. Somebody's calling me while I'm watching my show. Go away. I honestly have forgotten Tessa's story. I know she wasn't a major component, but that is so bullshit. You touch something here and two blocks away, the infected are alerted to your presence. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Will they attack her if she's infected or will they just run by her? Oh fuck. She can't light the lighter. Oh no. Yep. There you are. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. That was so romantic. Bye, Anna Torv. It was nice seeing you again. She out. The job is done. Now it's just the two of them. He loved her. Save who you can. Oh, it's giving me goosebumps, man. I'm liking Bella. As Ellie. She's got the right attitude. Oh, we're done? Oh, this episode's wrapping up. Nice shot. So obviously episode one was just about uh, laying down the fundamentals, the rules, um, what this virus is, getting to know the characters, the whole opening scene with Joel and Sarah and Tommy, getting to know her, um, her tragic death, and then jumping 20 years later where Joel is uh, surviving in encampments. The, the whole virus thing, the, the fungal virus has taken over the whole world and Joel has become a, a bitter, broken man. I mean, there was a scene in that first episode where he was just... Uh, we saw a young boy who stumbled into camp and he was infected so they they exterminate the infected and it was just a moment where Joel just threw this small child's body like into the pit to be burned and it just showed that he had this amazing disconnect from from everything. I mean, a loving father who, who lost his daughter being able to do that, something has come loose inside of you so... This whole series is going to be about Joel re-establishing that connection with a young girl. I mean, a, a surrogate daughter, so to speak. I mean, he's lost a kid. He's found a new one. So it's going to be about that struggle within him to kind of open up and, and find that emotional connection with, with someone again. Because right now, he's not there and he doesn't trust this kid. He's being bit. He doesn't know what's going on, but he's just going to do what he has to do and get her across the country. So I'm loving that emotional side of the story. I mean, that's the whole heart of the game and hopefully the series. And so far, they're doing that so right. So like I mentioned, the sound design was incredible. The, the clickers, they looked great. It was The tension was incredible. The, the action, I, I loved it, man. And Anatole's final moments as Tess, that creepy, fresh-looking motherfucker just coming up and giving her the fungal kiss of death. <laughs> and she finally got that lighter to light and, yeah, boom, she's out. But my God, it's just... It just, it's just, oh, I can't, I can't put it to words. It's just amazing. So I can't wait for episode three. I hear that one is going to be an hour and 20. So we're definitely getting larger size episodes. But for this kind of production, I'm here for it, man. They need it. They've got a lot of story to tell and it's good. I mean, that flew by. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you like my reaction. If you did, maybe leave a like or subscribe. And once again, my Patreon is linked down below where I have a whole bunch 
of exclusive content and early release content. And don't forget my socials are down there as well. So click a link, come say hi, follow me on Twitter and stuff. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.